glasses on, see what they look like. Ooh! Put them on the end of my nose like this. Do I look like a granny now? And I've got my granny shawl. Because I've got that out of the box where you've got all your lovely things. Do you want to sit down in your chair and I'll read you the story? That's my chair. Terrific. Are you ready for this? Yeah. It's a good story, this one. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was loved by everyone who knew her. Her grandmother was so fond of her that she loved to give her presents. Once, she made her a beautiful cape and hood of red velvet. The little girl liked it so much that she never went anywhere without it. In fact, she wore it so often that people called her red. Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> little Red Riding Hood lived with her mother and father in a small cottage in a village near the edge of a large forest. Her father worked all day in the forest as a woodcutter. Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother lived about a mile away. She lived by herself in a little cottage right inside the wood. Little Red Riding Hood loved her grandmother, and her grandmother loved her. Nearly every day, she went along the path through the forest to visit her. Now one day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her and said, Little Red Riding Hood, I have put a cake and a bottle of wine in this basket, and I want you to take them to your grandmother. She's ill, and they'll do her a lot of good. Keep to the path, and don't wander off into the forest. Walk carefully, and don't run, or you might fall over and break the bottle. Then you'll have no wine for poor grandmother. I shall take great care, promised Little Red Riding Hood, as she took the basket and waved goodbye to her mother. Before she'd gone very far along the path through the forest, Little Red Riding Hood met a wolf. She'd never seen a wolf before, and she didn't know what a wicked creature he was. She thought he was a large dog, and she wasn't a bit afraid of him. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Good morning, sir. Where are you going so early in the morning? To my grandmother's. And what have you got in your basket? A cake and a bottle of wine, said Little Red Riding Hood. My grandmother is ill, and Mother has sent these to help her get well again. Where did your grandmother live, Little Red Riding Hood? About another half mile into the forest, answered Little Red Riding Hood. Her cottage stands under three large oak trees. What a tender young creature this is, thought the wolf. She will make a more juicy mouthful than the old woman. But if I am cunning, I should manage to eat both. So, so the wolf strolled along beside Little Red Riding Hood for a little while chatting to her and pointing out what was to be seen. Oh, look at all the pretty flowers under the trees, he said. Aren't they beautiful? Can you hear the birds singing? You should stop here for a while, he said, instead of walking straight along the path. Then the wolf said goodbye to Little Red Riding Hood and set off quickly for the grandmother's cottage. <gasps> oh! Little Red Riding Hood did as the wolf had suggested and looked around her. Oh, the forest was a lovely place. The sunbeams were dancing through the trees and the ground looked like a thick, thick carpet full of beautiful flowers and the birds were singing everywhere. I shall pick a bunch of fresh flowers for my grandmother, she thought. They'll help her to get better. So she wandered further and further from the path, gathering the prettiest of flowers to take to her grandmother. By now, the wolf 
had reached grandmother's cottage. 